Hello and welcome to Real Science for Kids. The videos in this series are the advanced experiments for level 1 chemistry. The title of this experiment is Making an Acid Base Indicator. Have fun discovering real science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller, and today we're going to make red cabbage acid base indicator. And with the acid base indicator we make, we're going to look at a few household solutions and determine whether or not they're acids or bases. I'm going to change my eyeglasses and put on some safety glasses. The reason I'm wearing safety glasses is that we're going to be boiling some water. And it's a good idea if you're boiling water to use some kind of eye protection just in case the water should splash in your face. Okay, let's get started. First we're going to take the red cabbage. This is a head of red cabbage and I'm just going to divide it up into a couple of pieces. I'm going to cut it in half. And I think I'll cut it in half again just so that it fits in the pot. A little bit more, a little bit better. Okay, so I have two pieces of red cabbage here that I'm going to use to boil and I'm going to use distilled water. I use distilled water because if I use tap water, uh, depending on where you live, the tap water can be very different. And sometimes in tap water there are a lot of uh, metal ions or chlorine or fluorine and it, it can affect how, how the cabbage base indicator looks. So we're going to use distilled water. So I'm going to pour the distilled water into my pan and a couple of cups of water is plenty. And then I think I'm going to boil both of these cabbage heads in this little bit of water just to make sure I get a, a, a nice amount, large amount of cabbage juice in there. And then I'm going to turn on my pan. and start it boiling. While the cabbage is boiling, let's go ahead and make our uh, filter paper uh, sheets. So I have a couple of pieces of filter paper here and all I'm going to do is cut the filter paper to make some strips. So these are the strips we're going to use to dip into our household solutions to find out whether or not the solutions are an acid or a base. Coffee filter paper is a good paper to use because it's very absorbent. And I'm making them a couple of inches long, maybe about half an inch wide. So let's see if the cabbage is ready. Taking a look at it, looks like it's getting done. I've got a lot of the purple uh, color has come out of the cabbage heads and into the water and that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. I'm going to remove the cabbage pieces so the water will cool a little more quickly. We're ready now to make our cabbage juice uh, acid base indicator strips. And to make it a little easier, I've transferred the cabbage juice into this uh, clear uh, cup. And what we're going to do is take the absorbent uh, filter paper and you can dip the filter paper in the cabbage juice. You can see it, it absorbs a, a little bit of the color but to make it a little easier I'm just going to soak these. I'm just going to take all of my little pieces of paper and I'm going to put them in there and I'm going to soak them in the cabbage juice. And I'm going to let them soak for 10 or 15 minutes and that way they will have lots of nice cabbage juice indicator all soaked up in the paper. So our coffee filter strips have been soaking in the red cabbage juice for 10 or 15 minutes and what I'm going to do now is take them out and lay them on this white piece of paper so you can see their color. I'm just going to dig them out with my fingers and you can see they've got a nice color to them, kind of a deep purple. I'm just going to lay them out and we're going to let these dry and the color of the paper should be somewhere between purple and blue. And this is what we're going to use to test for our acids and bases. So we've taken out the coffee filters and I've put them on a piece of white paper. 
And I wanted to show you that this is actually fairly interesting. You can see that the coffee filters have already turned a slight green color. And this is actually real science. This was an unexpected result. Most of the time, the coffee filter paper should be kind of stay kind of purple, like here. But you can see that there's a lot of green in these coffee filter papers. So I tested some regular paper towel, and you can see the paper towel actually has more purple in them, although you can see it's starting to turn blue. And what this is telling me is that these coffee filter papers already have quite a lot of base on them. And so I want to test that hypothesis. I'm going to take a little bit of ammonia, okay, which I know is basic. And I'm going to just use a piece of straw that I cut the end off of. And I'm just going to take a little drop of the ammonia. And I'm going to put it on one of the coffee filters. And you can see it's turning bright green. And this tells me that ammonia, I know, is a base. And with red cabbage indicator, it turns green. So the red cabbage turns green. And if I add more um, ammonia to my coffee filter, you can see it turns green. So you can see all of these coffee filters here are actually have some base on them already. And I suspect it's because the coffee filters were being stored near the ammonia in my bin. So let's see what vinegar does. Vinegar is a, an acid. And if I take my acid, my vinegar, and I use a little bit of a um, straw, I'm going to use a longer straw so I can get to the bottom. And I dip a little bit of vinegar on my coffee filters. Oops. You can see that it turns bright pink. And this is what the coffee filters look like when you add an acid. And so I can take these coffee filters up here and I can turn them pink by adding vinegar to them. So vinegar is an acid, and acids will turn red cabbage juice indicator pink, and bases will turn red cabbage juice indicator green. So this is how you make an acid base indicator with red cabbage juice. All you need is a head of red cabbage, some distilled water, and a few coffee filter strips. And you just soak the coffee filter strips in the red cabbage and let them dry. And then you can put different solutions on them to find out whether or not you have an acid or a base. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Discovering Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Visit them at webbizvideos.com. And you know we're not quite finished yet. We're going to look at a few household solutions and determine whether or not they are acids and bases. Acids or bases. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller. And today, we're going to make a red cabbage something. While the cabbage is boiling, so this is how you make an acid base indicator with red cabbage juice. All you need is a red cabbage, piece of red cabbage. Let me try that again. All you need is a head of red cabbage, some distilled water, and a few coffee filters, papers, strips. Okay, we're out. Yeah!